So it's not like a lot of people that have like a un unrealistic expectation on the batteries, right? Like you, you might have your iPhone and you'll be like on all day long watching videos, downloading stuff and like, how, how's my phone on 10%? Well, you've like done all this stuff on it, right? Mm -hmm. Is that isn't that anything to change that just always be people have just unrealistic expectations about their batteries? Yeah, it's, I think it's one of those things, uh, uh, a couple of things. One is um, batteries are all about uh, uh, give and take. You make one thing better, you're gonna make something else worse. Uh, that's where you know you're trying to design your battery. Okay, do I need a really high power battery for this application, or do I want it like the battery that goes in the pacemaker is different from the battery that goes in a Tesla is different from the battery that goes in these other things. So, so uh, hopefully anyway, right? Right, right. <laughs> so one one aspect of it is designing to the specific application. The other thing is you know as we add more energy density, um, the electrical engineers are always coming up with more ways to use that additional capacity to go and. Um, you know, come up with cooler power electronics or different different things on the electrical engineering side of things. So, um, you know, it's always a race between uh, the people who want to do more uh, with you know your your phone or your laptop or whatever that is, and um, it's a race between the electrical engineers and the battery folks.